Michelle Glory here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a review on a Kasori pressure cooker that was sent to me. The company contacted me and asked me if I would like to review this pressure cooker. And I said yes, so, because I've never used one before. Um, I'm used to the old school one back in the day where the lids kind of just snapped together, that one. But now, with technology today, it's all push buttons and high fluting tooting. <laughs> so I thought I'd try a newer version of it. So this is the Kasori. It is a six quart, as you can see, six quart pressure cooker. This is what it looks like in the picture there, as you can see. See how it's all push button and programmable. It comes with 16 pieces in it. It says that it's also uh, you can make enough food in it for eight or plus people. It says on it, a little bit that it reads, it says, what exactly is a pressure cooker? Well, it's at least seven things at once. You can saute, slow cooker, yogurt maker being just a few of them. It cooks meals in minutes and makes your one pot meals come true. So this is the side of it here, as you can see. This is the box it came in. And this shows you just a few of the meals there. As you can see, it comes in different sizes. There is a four quart, a, this is the six quart, but it also had they also have an eight quart as well. I'm going to leave down in the description box the link that you can go to check this out and order one if you want, and also the link to their Facebook page as well. So, like I said, this is what it looks like. This is how it came in the box. And this is the other side here. And it shows you just a few things on its sides. It says it's safe. Speedy cooking time. Your pressure cooker uses steam technology to cook items 80% quicker than standard cooking methods. It also naturally saves a lot more of the vitamins and nutrients. Preset on presets. We've designed this machine with 16 presets so that making your meal is a piece of cake. No judgment if your, des if your desserts first. Designed with you in mind. So they also have a support number that if you have trouble, you can contact them. They also have an email for support as well. So that's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you, I've already taken it out of the box. So this is the box it came in. All right, this is everything that was in it. It comes with, here are the booklets. This is the warranty here that you would need to fill out when you receive your product. This is the instructions. The manual on how to use it it is very detailed I have to say that it is very detailed explaining everything it comes with how to use it so I like the instruction book then it comes with which is nice it comes with a recipe book with all different kinds of recipes that you can try anything from healthy fried rice, as you can see there, to cinnamon oats, coconut scented onions, just to name a few of the recipes that they have. Sorry, trying to get this focused here for you guys. But it comes with a lot. This is a very nice little recipe book. I do like this recipe book. Okay. Here are some of the other pieces that came with it. It comes with a little scoop. Comes with two of them. This is more like a ladle. And the scoop. And then this goes down inside it. Like if you want to steam some vegetables, you could put this inside. Inside it has little legs down on the bottom. You put this down inside, put all your vegetables here on top. All of the nutrients and stuff will run down to the bottom into the water. You can save that water because that's where it'll keep all of the 
good stuff. So that came with it as well. It also came with an additional, an extra, get it here, an extra valve ring here. It's a pressure ring. This is an extra one. I'm going to show you the one that's already on it. This is the lid here. And here inside, as you can see, the ring is already in there, the pressure ring. Now, when you put this ring in, you have to be very careful to make sure that, as you can see by this extra one here, there is a groove here. And this groove in here has to fit into this metal part that is already inside the lid. As you can see, that one is already in. It fits well. You have to make sure, like I said, it fits in the groove. It's a no-brainer. It's, you know, Murphy proof. It will slide in and fit well. Okay, here's the lid. This is the valve here on top. This is where you would release the pressure. You put it in place, you lock it. When you lock it in place, it's down. When it's cooking, this little red valve that you see here will pop up while it's cooking. When you're all done cooking, you release it, and it too is Murphy proof. It has a design on it right here that shows a little lock button, and then on this side it shows a little release button. So you just you automatically know which way to, to put it. So when it's in lock, and then when you're done cooking, you push it to, see, like right now it's in lock, and then when you're done, you'll push it to release. That raises this, the pressure will start to come out here, you do not remove the lid until this little red button here goes down. When it goes all the way back down, that means the pressure has been all released. Then you can safely unlock your lid that's on it. So there's that. This is the actual unit here. As you can see, here are all the buttons. And as you can see from the buttons, there are, you know, you can do beans and chili, steam and steam vegetables, steamed potatoes, reheat, bake, pasta boil, multigrain, soup, poultry, brown rice, yogurt, saute and brown, um, hot pot, slow cook, white rice, and meat stew. And then these are the buttons here at the top. This will light up. It's an LED. You'll be able to see it once I plug it in. It'll light up so that you can see your time when you go to set it for how long you want to cook it for. But here's a button for keeping it warm. Here's the on button, the manual button, the pressure temperature. And that's where you can adjust it. This is your cook time. You'll push that and set your cook time. And all of that will show up here in the LED spot here. It'll light up. So this is it here. It comes with the deep metal part. This is attached. This does not come out. So that's that. And then here, see now this, if I was to cook some vegetables, see how this would... Oh no, I'm sorry. This is the, <laughs> I forgot. This is the actual pot here. All right. There's a lot to this, guys. Here's the actual container that you would cook your food in here. You'll cook it in this. And you see there are measurements on the side here, but you have to look at them from the inside in order to read them because otherwise, on this side they read backwards but on the inside you can see where you would like make this this side is all cups measurements and cups two cups 12 cups 10 cups it's all measured in here but this itself is what goes inside here okay so this you do not cook in here you cook in here all right, so say I wanted to do 
some vegetables or whatever, I would put that in there like that. But what I'm going to be cooking today is a roast. I'm going to show you a roast that I'm going to cook, and I'll get that here in just a second. But I also wanted to point this out too. It comes with these two little cups, as you can see right here on the side. This is your water collection. As it's cooking, you know, and it's pressure cooking, water is going to start to try to drip and come out from the pressure of it cooking. So these are the collection cups. So that came with that, and you just put them on the side there, so nothing will drip all over your counter. It'll collect in there. They are removable so that you can wash them. Now, when you're all done cooking, see so here's, the, here's the lid, and then when you're all done cooking and you take this lid off, and you say you wanna serve now, and you wanna just keep it warm, Here's a lid that came with it as well. So now you can have a see-through lid and you can just keep it nice and warm. But that's what you put on after you are done pressure cooking with the actual pressure cooker lid that it comes with. Okay, I'm going to get off here, guys. Oh, one thing I do have to say, it unboxed well. Okay, I do like everything I've seen so far, with the exception of this. This is the cord here, all right? It's, it's your average length. It's not very long. But when it came, it came all rolled up like this, as you can see, all bandaged together like that. And there was a tape that was on this. It was taped twice with two different kinds of tape to keep it bound together. That was a hell of a chore to try to get that off without cutting or, you know, damaging the cord. It, it, took, it took quite a while to get all that tape off. It was not easy. They, they, could, they could think of a better system like maybe just putting rubber bands on it or something like that or twist ties, but what they used was not a good it's not a good design just saying that's the only thing other than that I'm liking it so far from what I see everything it came with all right guys I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna start using this and cooking and start my roast we'll be back shortly okay we are back guys this is the pressure cooker and as you can hear we are sauteing and browning the roast on both sides to sear in the flavor. So what you what we did is we went ahead and chose saute brown as you can see there. And then we hit the pressure temperature right there. And then this is where you could put the pressure temperature. Like it starts at 200 and something, but we wanted, hot, wanted it high. So we went ahead and hit the plus button to get it up to 300, I believe, or three, 320. 320, okay? And then we put a little bit of olive oil, as you can see right there, inside the pan, down inside there. And he is sauteing and browning both sides. We also um, chose the cook time, which is right here, and we chose for 13 minutes, and he's turning it over on each side, and then that's what the display looks like as it's counting down. This is the on button. This is the off button. We are not pressure cooking yet, so you don't see the lid on it, because we are only just searing in the flavor by browning it and right you can now. stop it at any time. Yeah, you can just hit cancel Which, here if you ahead. wanted we're to. We're going to go ahead. I think we're ready. All right, hit cancel. So we'll... And there you see. Shuts off. It does display everything there when you push the buttons, but once you're done setting it how you want, then it goes to that like round setting that you saw where the lights just flash on and off, on and off, on and off until it's done. So we put it off right now because it's done browning on both sides. We're going to continue on with adding our ingredients. We are going to um, season it and we'll be back in just a moment. Okay guys, we're back. All right, we went ahead and turned it off 
and what he did he's doing now is he is making he's cutting holes into the meat because we stuff our roast with whole garlic cloves as you can see right there from the jar and he's taking one out and that's how we do our roast everyone to each his own on how you do your recipes but we really like garlic so he's going to make some holes in the roast stuff those holes with a few garlic whole cloves okay and after he's done doing that he's gonna go ahead and season the meat up go ahead and season it up we're using just some what uh, we, adobo, of course. Yep, yeah, we use adobo. It's an all season. And we are going to use some grill in, grill out. There you go, grill in, grill out. Really puts a good flavor into it. Made by Excalibur. Okay. Rinse my hands off. Lay it yeah. on. There is an arrow, you cannot see it, but there's an arrow here, and you line it up with the unlock, you twist it to lock it, so there's the lock, and then it just said, -de 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 -de. did you hear it? Okay, then we have to make sure that our pressure valve in the back is set to lock. Mm -hmm. And it is. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to... Yep. And we want to we want to cook it manual because there's presets, but we're going to cook it manual because we want more than the preset minutes. Mm -hmm. Preset meaning it's already set for so right. many minutes. We want to cook it for longer than that, so we're going to do it manually. Yep. So you hit manual. Yep. And then preset cook. And your pressures. Okay. This is setting your pressures. Meat, meat and stew. Yep. And then the. I wanted to get the minutes more. Okay. Cook time. Cook time. So we want to run that up. Uh, about an hour, ten minutes. Let's about start an hour, with that. Ten minutes. Go ahead and start that. On it, all the way on high, and start it. Okay, guys. There you go. It's pretty easy to use. And we'll be back shortly to show you halfway through. Hi guys, we're back. Okay, we are halfway through. We have already cooked it for uh, an hour and 40 minutes. And we have a really, really thick roast, guys. So that's why it's taking a little bit longer for hours. Every, all the time variations are going to vary depending on the thickness of your roast and what you're cooking. So just make sure to read your directions carefully when you get yours. So this is what it looks like so far. We've gone ahead now and added the potatoes in there. Our carrots are pre-cooked, so we're not going to put the carrots in right now. We also had two, which we had left out. When we first started cooking the roast, we had to add two cups of water. That's what the directions call for because you do not want to cook your meat dry with no water in it. So we've done that. Now, when we turned it off, we also had to vent it on the top by turning that. When you go to turn it, when the time is done cooking and you go to vent it, you have got to use a pot holder. It is extremely hot when you vent it out and all that steam comes pouring out. So m make sure to always use nice and easy protection and yeah. when you go to you to vent it out. Okay, so now we are going to start it up again. We're to the point where we put the potatoes in, and we'll cook it another half hour, and everything should be done. We'll let you know in another half hour. All right, we'll see you in a bit when it's done, guys. And Hi, guys, we are back. Okay, this is the finished product. As you can see, everything's falling apart. Yep, the meat's the all falling apart. The potatoes are tender, yep. the meat is tender, so. Mm -hmm. That's it. This is you see, it's just falling apart. All right, this is my final review part of the video to show you 
it is i give it a thumbs up oh yeah big time now all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video and this recipe that we did with the kasori thank you very much kasori for reaching out mm -hmm. to me and sending this to me to review i really like it i truly appreciate it and we'll see you guys in the next video remember to always let go like god no guts no glory we'll see you later guys bye